Welcome to this afternoon's Core and Stretch with Bella. If you have any health issues or concerns, make sure you've been okay by your GP or a, a healthcare professional to do the class. If you feel like there's anything you can't do, anything that doesn't feel right, you can um, just miss that little exercise and come back and join us as we go. Uh, but really, I will try to give you lots of options for the class so everybody can join us. All right, guys, let's start with our feet in hip distance apart, and we're just going to find our posture, find our stance, and just release any tension that we hold in our shoulders. So just starting with a nice shoulder roll, and then let's reverse that. Nice work. So just doing the opposite, coming back, and let's go one with that. Now I'm going to step back towards the end of my mat, Looking forward, I'm going to roll down. So take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bring your chin to your chest and roll down one vertebra at a time. And then roll it up. Take a deep breath in. And this time I want you to imagine a wall behind. And you're going to peel off that imaginary wall one vertebra at a time. Rolling down and coming up. Inhale, let's do two more like that. So peeling off that imaginary wall one vertebra at a time, rolling and then rolling to come up. One more time, inhale, exhale. This time we're going to pause here for a moment, tighten through your core. So belly button back towards your spine, you're going to look forward and we're going to come into our plank position. Find your perfect plank. We're going to take a deep breath in, tuck your tail under, come over your hands and we're going to hold the plank for 10. Nine, so just getting warmed up through our core. Another six, five, four, three, two, one, and then we're going to walk back. One, two, three, rolling to come up. All right, let's do that again. Deep breath in, stepping away. One, two, three, finding your plank. This time we're going to drop to your knees and Bring your chest all the way down and then push away. So we want to hold our modified plank and come into a push up. Let's do four here. One, you want to keep your elbows coming in to the side of your ribs. Three, two, one more. Lift your knees and let's walk back. Now we're going to take a deep breath in, rolling to come up. Let's do one more set. Inhale, we're going to step away, coming into your plank hold again. This time we're going to keep your bottom low, we're going to glide over your hands and then come back. One, two, three, four, let's do four more, one, two, three, four, Keep your feet and hands where they are. Look back towards your feet. You're going to drop one heel at a time. That's it. And let's now lift up your left leg. And then we're going to step it forward and drop your knee. Coming up, bring your hands up over. Clasp your palms together and look up to the ceiling. Deep breath in and a nice stretch. So really opening your heart to the ceiling. Deep breath in, bringing your hands back. You're going to tuck your toe under at the back and step your leg away, lifting into that pipe again. Let's do the same on the other side. So lift, create a little bit of space for your leg. Bring it forward, drop your knee. Deep breath in, looking up. Exhale, coming down. Let's do one more to each side. So lifting to come up. This time, we're going to try and keep your knee off and come up a little bit higher. Looking up, we'll release your heart to the ceiling. And then we're going to come down, bring that leg back, lift the hips up, and let's do the same on the other side. Keep that knee off. You can always bring it down if you want to, but if you can, keep it off. Inhale, look up. Tucking your tail under. Deep breath in. Let's come down, bring that leg back, and then we're going to lift our hips. 
We're going to now come into your plank position. Hold it here. You're going to stick your hips back and then you're going to push the mat away coming over your hands into your plank. So think of a hinge in your hips. Push the ground away. Let's do eight, seven, six, that's it, five. So pushing out from the floor, coming over to your hands. Three, two, one more. And let's finish with our hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming on to your knees and let's release down, bringing your bottom all the way down. Take a deep breath in. From here, we're going to walk your hands all the way to one side and stretch into the side of the body. Deep breath in and really try to press everything down and then away. And then we do the same to the other side. Coming up guys, I just want to grab some water. So make sure you stay nicely hydrated through the class. Have a little drink. From here, we're going to come into all fours. So bringing your hands under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're going to drop your hips forward. Really try to feel those hips releasing and then you're going to look up. So lengthen through the back. And we're going to now suction the belly button toward this line. Look to your knees and then release. Deep breath in. Tuck your tail under and then release. And this is a really good way to just bring awareness into your spine. So you're tightening your belly button and then releasing it forward. So keep your belly now close to your spine, belly button back. We're going to bring your left leg out. So this is like a level one. So keep your back nice and straight. Imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back. Nice and level. And then we're going to bring the opposite up. Let's do three more. One, two, three. And then we're going to hold it out and then we're going to come in. Reach and come forward. So keep your back nice and flat and then really try to release your fingertips forward. Think of opposition, foot to the back. Three to go. One, two, three. Now we're going to change it up. You're going to bring your hand behind. You're going to now draw your elbow to that knee to get a little bit of a cross body stretch. You're going to pause and feel your lat sliding down your back. And then you're going to straighten that leg and try to keep it where your knee is in line with your hip. Let's do six, five. So you're drawing your elbow towards the opposite knee. Four, three, two, one more, and let's reset and do the same on the other side. So you can either start just with the leg or with the arm, opposite arm to leg. Let's do four, three, two, one more, and then we're going to come in. So this one, keeping your arm parallel to that leg. Four, three, your belly button is tight. Drawing up towards your spine. One more. And then you're going to come in, bend that leg. And then you're going to draw your elbow to the opposite knee. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Coming back, let's just release. Give our wrist a little break. So bringing your bottom back and then you're going to circle your wrist to one direction and then over to, the, uh, over to the other side. Now we're going to come up and we're going to change the position. So I'm going to come onto one elbow, one arm is straight and then I'm going to open up through my hip on this side. So think about opening the hip but still tight through the belly. 
We're going to lift the leg a little higher than your hip, and then you're going to draw it behind you, keeping your core set, and then you're going to bring it across in front of your hip. Back and across. So where you're going to feel it is your glutes and your obliques, which is why we come all the way in front of your hip. Let's do six. Keep your belly tight. Five, try to get the full range of motion. We want that leg to come up high and then go back across. Four, you're working on the leg, on the opposite leg as well, so you should feel your glutes holding you, stabilizing you in position. Two more. One more. Bring it up. Nice work. So this time we're going to bring it in, open, out into a fire hydrant, and then you're going to extend, bring it back, and release. Again, feel it a little on the other side. So just four here, one. Belly's tight, two. See if you can get it across in front. That's it. Two more. Keep that nice connection to the floor. Let's make this our last one. And one last set. You need to look back now. Flex your foot. Feel the back of your legs. Belly is tight. Bring it in. And then push it away. See if you can look back behind you. Let's do six. Your abdominals are set. Your back and your pelvis are in neutral. Three. If you want to just relax, you don't have to look back. But what we want here is for you to get your leg up high. Two more. One more. And then come back. I'm going to swap and do the same on the other side, guys. So find your position. You can swap sides or you can stay where you are. I'm going to bring my hand, the opposite hand, in a nice square position. And then fingertips should be met in front. Open your hips slightly. Lift and let's find that range of motion again. So we go back, try to keep your toe off the floor and then come out in front of your hip as much as you can. So you want the full hip release there. One, two, three, so we go slow for the first few because we want to get our eye into what we want our body to do. And then once we've got it, let's go a little quicker. One. Two, three, one more, bring it in, back, and let's go for that fire hydrant. So open and then release that leg out, down. See how much rotation you can get through that hip. Four to go, one, two, three, one more. Bring it in, now reset. Remember this one, we're gonna flex, we're gonna reach it all the way out. So this is more of a little kick. One, press away. Two, look back behind your shoulder if you can. Three, three to go. One, two, and three. Well done, guys. Let's just sit up for a moment onto your feet if you can. We're going to just press your shoulders away. So nice stretch through the upper body. And then bring your hands behind you. And we'll see if we can keep your palms together. Press away and look up. And relax. All right, guys, we're going to have a little stretch now. So back onto all fours. Just keeping it nice and light through your wrists. If you find that your wrists are getting a little sore, what you can do is create a little bit more of a cushion by folding your mat. This one, I'd like you to stay on your wrists. So normally, you can come to your elbows, but just stay in your wrists. Keep your hips set. You're going to bring your hand out to a T, and then you're going to glide it under and release all the way down. Take a deep breath in, and then open back out into that T shape. Make sure you're in a really good four-point kneeling position. Reach, release. You're going to feel your lat gliding under and you're getting a really nice twist on your body. So working your abs, not just forward and back, but side to side. Let's do two more. 
also reaching out and then away, bend your elbow on the opposite side. Alright, let's do the other side guys. Keep your belly tight, so starting with that T and then we dive under and release. That's one. Reach. Two. Three. Two more. One. And two. Reaching. Well done, guys. We're going to take a seat now. Back towards, I'll face the other way. <laughs> Back towards the end of your mat. So reaching your legs in front. Make sure they're nice and comfortable. You're going to bring your hands behind your knees and pull yourself up into a really nice posture. So shoulders back and down. And we're going to start by tucking your tail under and just trying to feel our lumbar. And as we do, drawing your belly button back. Now, see if you can straighten the hands, come a little further, coming towards your sacrum, and then pull yourself back. Really nice. So tuck, hands are straight, and then you're going to draw your elbows away from you and contract a little bit through the biceps. So that's the front of the arms. A little bit of arm work as well. Nice. Let's do two more. So you're going to straighten your hands, send the elbows away as you pull yourself back. One more like that. Alright, now we're going to add on a little bit more to our abs. We're going to come back until we reach our lower back. So start by tucking. Go slow, further, further, and then pull yourself up. Inhale. If it doesn't feel comfortable, just don't go as far. Maybe come to a position where you feel like you can control it. Further. One more. And then Pull yourself back. Inhale, tuck, further. So really feel your lower back press to the mat and then pull yourself back up. Inhale, relax the shoulders and look forward. Further. Now we're going to hold it. Inhale, open the arms out to the sides. Pause, bring them back and then roll yourself up. So feel your heart and chest open. Let's go. Inhale, tuck. Keep going. Two, three, pause. Open to the sides. Bring your hands back. Don't rush. And then pull yourself up. Let's do one more all together. So really focus on each part of the release going slow. Slow is strong. And then open. Pause. And then lift. Nice way, guys. Just find your hips again. We're going to stay here. We're going to do one more set. This time we're going to open to the side. Imagine you're holding your cup in your hand. Look back. Follow your eyes. Your eyes follow your hand. Other side. So coming back, imagine you're holding your cup in your palm. Reach out to the side. Slowly bring it back. And then come back into the seated position. So down. We're going to stay on the one side now. One. Back, to, back together. Two. Your eyes follow your fingertips. And release. Let's do the other side. So three. Remember that cup in your palm. Two. And three. We're going to come up and then we're going to go all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. Slowly. When you get to the bottom, you're going to stretch your legs out. Have a little stretch, and then we're going to come back up one vertebrae at a time. Bend your knees if you need to, and then come over, release, come up into sitting, and let's roll back down one vertebrae at a time. Bring in your hands back last. This time, focus on drawing your inner thighs and pressing your legs together, and you're hugging a big ball over. Reach, come back into seated position. Nice posture, belly button tight to your spine. And then we're going to stay here. Nice work, guys. Bend your knees now. We're going to now just bring your legs in for a little stretch. So feel the length of your spine. So hold your knees in this position and then just draw your knees to your chest and then bring them back into where your hips 
are in front, knees and hips are aligned. So we'll draw it up and then come back. See if you can do the same now without your hands back. Nice. So starting to feel a little bit of work here. Keep your legs in tabletop. Back. Release. Inhale. And then come back. Let's now pause by pressing your hands into the mat. Support this position. Come back. And then we're going to tap your knee, sorry, your toe down. Okay, so deep breath in, lift. Two, three, release. Come back into this position and then tap your toes. When you tap your toes back, try to keep your sacrum pressing down and your hips are stable. And tap. So we want to hold up for as long as we can. Slowly release down and then tap. Let's do two more. One last one. And then release. All right, we're going to do a similar move now. Make sure you've got room behind you. We're going to bring your legs in front of your hips. And then we're going to come back. See if you can get your legs into parallel. Inhale, slowly draw your spine back, bringing your legs into the starting position and then slowly drawing them down. Inhale, make sure your legs are like one, squeeze the inner thighs. Keep your legs parallel. Slowly coming down and back. So keep your legs parallel to the floor. You don't have to tap it. And then slowly release your bottom down and then release the leg. Let's do one more. And come back, bring your legs down, find your position. This time we're going to bring your hands behind your head and we're going to lift up. So starting to work a little bit more through the upper abs. Let's stay here. You can keep your legs on the floor or you're going to bring your legs into tabletop. And you've got a fist size gap between your legs. Keep your legs parallel. Inhale, one. So your elbows are in the corners of your eyes where you can see them. Nice. And two more. And then we're going to stay up. We're going to split our legs up and tap and release. We're going to imagine that the mat is hot. So as soon as we tap, we lift the leg away. Nice. Eight, seven, six. I'm going to fix my hair while we keep tapping. Four. Three, two. Now this time, keep one knee up. We're going to join elbow to your knee. And swap. One, two, three, four. Another four, three, two, one. And release. Bring your hands out to a T and then just keep your knees together. Release them to each side. Let's keep going with our obliques. Deep breath in, inhale, come up. This time we're going to send the leg away. Go to the opposite knee tap and then bring it back. So really connect knee to elbow together. Connect and pause together. Let's do four, three, two, one, and then we're going to go right through. So a little bit quicker for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your knees in tabletop. Take a deep breath in. Pull yourself a little closer and then see if you can reach to your ankles. Now we're going to hold this position. So off your shoulders and you're going to extend one leg at a time. One. Two, level one, level two is both legs. We inhale, press your legs away. Two, three, four. Now let's add the upper body. So both coming away, circle the arms and reach up. Really reach and curl. Reach, one, two. So 
to grab your knees or your ankles if you can. Pull yourself up for that last little bit. Really feeling it at the front before we send the legs away. Reach. So come off your shoulders a little bit more as much as you can. Rounded hollow body. Two. Three. One more. And we're ready to bring our knees in a little closer. Lift the bottom and come up into sitting. So let's work on that hollow body a little bit more. You're going to bring your knees a little bit closer and lift up. So level one is you're going to curl, balance, and pull yourself back in, lifting your legs the whole time. You can also hold behind. One, two. Now we go all the way. Get those hips up and come back. So keep it tight for your belly. Rolling like a ball, giving yourself a massage, releasing the back. So when you come all the way back, take a breath and pull yourself back. Make sure you've got a little bit of space between the feet to keep that balance. One more. Nice work, guys. Now we're going to go into our rollover again. So inhale, release. This time we're going to tap our toes, lift, stay here. And then as you come up, you're going to grab your legs and come up into that balance. Level one. Level two will be, if you can, keeping your legs nice and straight. Let's go. Inhale, tap. Now slowly grab your legs and pull yourself up. Nice work. Together, in and draw. And then slowly coming back with control. One more time. And then we're going to finish with our little genie. Okay, so knees and inner thighs together. Your hands are in front. We're going to extend and come back. Tuck. Ten. Exhale. Nine. Seven, eight, six, five, four, stay, three, two, keep your belly drawing back, one more, and then drop your legs and release forward, coming up into seated position. We're going to do a sore now, so really focusing on that twisting action. Bring your legs out to the side, we're going to have a little stretch first, so hands out. Relax your shoulders. You're going to inhale as you exhale, come across. And then you're going to lean towards your pinky. So chop the pinky and then lift the arm, back arm up, and then reach across a little more. Come up and then twist. So let's go slowly all together. Across, chop the pinky and reach away. You can look back to your shoulder, come up, and then twist forward. Inhale, we'll make it a little smoother this time, but I really want you to come up and then come back to the middle. So don't finish, don't miss out on that really nice twist. Up and then across. Inhale, reach, chop your pinky. Up and then across. One more. And reach and come up. All right, this time we're gonna Bring your back into our obliques again, bringing your hands behind your head nice and tall. So the same action. And then this time we're going to reach down, pulse, up and middle. Alright, let's go guys. Across. One, two, up and middle. Really press your bottom and heels into the floor. One, two, coming up and then rotate. Pulse, picking up. Let's do one more to each side. If you need to bend your knees slightly, if you have tight hamstrings, that's okay. One more. And coming up. All right, we're going to do one more set with a slight variation. So let's come back. If you can straighten your legs out, find your position. So we're going to come across, reach. Then when we come up, we're going to bring your hand behind. And then you're going to swivel the other hand. So you've got a chest opening here. Lift up and reach. And then we're back. Let's do one more like that to the other side. So across, reach, come up. 
drop the hand behind you and then swivel the other hand. And we're gonna hold it here. We're gonna bring your legs in front, bend your knees, and we're ready for a little bit of a tricep dip. So deep breath in, lift up. You don't have to go all the way. You're gonna now bend your elbows, dip your bottom and pull yourself up. One, two, three. Great for your posture, opening up the chest. Working on your triceps and your abs. Let's do six, five, four, three, two, one more. And bringing your bottom right back. And then let's do a little spine stretch now. So coming back into this position, sitting up nice and tall, we're going to peel ourselves forward. So round your back off the imaginary wall behind us. Similar to how we started the class round. Then you're going to reach forward and see if you can create a diagonal line reaching into the corner of the room and then we'll step up. So let's go peeling off that wall, coming forward, round and back, and then you're going to reach your hands and come into a diagonal line, lengthening into the corner of the room and then release. So when you're feeling it is in the middle of your back. Press. Way. Lengthen, lengthen, reach, and sitting up, two more, so pulling off that imaginary wall, and then reaching forward, and then releasing, let's do one more, and reach, 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 coming up, we're working a little into our back now, so let's do the opposite, we're going to lay down onto our tummy, Still working through the app. So let's just release down to the floor. You're going to have your hands by your chest, elbows are down, back of the legs are pressing into the mat. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest and press your hips into the floor. So still strong through your abs. Take a deep breath in and then come up for a stretch. And then come down. Now change the position of your hand if you felt that in your lower back. So you're not going up as high. One more, little stretch here, lengthen the hips off, and then let's come down all together. Now, we're going to bring your hands out in front, so we're going to do opposite arm to leg. We're going to go slow and deep. We're going to lift your left arm and your right leg. Now, with the right arm and the left leg, we're going to press hard into the floor and lift up a little more and then lower down. So opposition, inhale, lift. The arm that's on the floor and the leg is pressing even more into the floor and you should be able to find a little more upward movement and more strength. Reach to come up and then lower down. So we come to one point, we press into the mat and lift up a little higher and then lower down. Hopefully you've got your chest off the mat. Lift and press. Coming down, nice. Inhale and reach. Hopefully you're not feeling it in your lower back. Let's do one more to each side. And higher and down. Inhale and press. Nice work guys. Let's now Straighten your, uh, sorry, bend your left leg and we do a little kick, kick and release. So let's do the other side. We lift the leg, kick, kick and release. So lift the leg up first, kick, kick, push away and release. You're feeling it in your glutes and your hamstring and also the front. So we lift up first, kick, kick and release. One more to each side. Lift the leg. Kick, kick, and release. And release. Nice work now, guys. We're going to come down. Are you going to bring your hands together? So holding your palms, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Is we haven't done this before. If you haven't done my Pilates class, so we're going to kick, kick, release, and look up and then come down and do the opposite side. So we're gonna combine. So you're going to lift the leg, kick, kick, and come up. Face the other way. So lift, kick, kick, and then up. 
One more to each side. We're changing the direction. So lift, kick, kick, and come up. One more. Lift the leg. Kick, kick, and come up. And let's release. We're coming in now to the swan. So swan dive, level one. We're going to inhale. Make sure your elbows and your hands are on the floor. Deep breath in. Come up. And then slowly down. Inhale. Up. And then slowly down. Let's do one more. Up. And then if you want the full swan dive with me, coming up. And then release down. Let's do two more. So inhale, lift. Swing. One more. And coming down and release. Well done, guys. We're going to now inhale. You're going to bring your elbows out a little bit more, come up, and then we're going to reach forward and come back. Sliding your shoulders down into your back. Good. One, two, three, four. Let's do four more. Reach. Wait for your posture. Shoulders back and down. Two, three, four, and coming back. Nice work, guys. So we're going back now into where we started, which was opposite arm to leg. So this time we're going to lift up, and then you're going to bring the hand back, look to the opposite side, and then bring it down. So pressing the opposite direction. Lift, press the hand, and then glide back, look into the opposite shoulder, and come back. Inhale, lift, slide. Sorry, <laughs> and come back, opposite arm to leg. So we go up, release, down, and lower. Let's do one more to finish. Lift, and glide, and come back. All right, one more. We're gonna do our kicking now. Great all over body exercise. So we're gonna lift, and then we're gonna kick. Let's do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Lower down and come back. Nice work, guys. It should all feel like you've worked your core as well as your back and your glutes. Let's now come up for a little stretch. Inhale. Bringing your knees underneath. We're going to come into our cat tail now. So inhale, look up. Tuck the tail under. And inhale. Exhale. One more. And coming up, we're going to now do a little thigh stretch, working through the front. So tuck the tail under nice and strong through the front. And then we're going to inhale, come back. So bring your thighs into it. Keep tucking your tail under and feeling straight, strong through the middle. And then pulling yourself up. Deep breath in. Let's do two more. Inhale. Press up. Maybe go a little further each time. And coming up. This time we're going to look back, find your heel, come back, and then have a little stretch here. Reaching up and lengthening through the side of the body. And just hold it, opening right up. And then pull yourself back in. Let's do the same on the other side. Look back, find your heel, and then lift. Coming up. I'm going to face the front now, guys. We're going to now stretch out through the side, working a little more into our abs. So, aeroplane arms. We're going to take a deep breath in, relax the shoulders, reach out to the side. If you can find the floor, find the floor, but keep reaching up to the top and then pull yourself back up. So you should feel it across. Inhale, aeroplane arms out to the side. Reach, reach, reach. And come up. You'll probably find one side is a little tighter. Reach across. And then see if you can now go a little further. Draw your hand into the corner of the room and then we we'll come up. One more. Nice way, guys. So this time, we're going to drop the hand and we're going to bring the leg out. Keep your hand reaching chest towards the front. We're going to lift and lower. 
So nice and strong through the core, stabilizing through that back glute. Let's do four, three, two, one more, and then we're going to add a little pulse. So you're going to try to get your leg side up towards the hand and then lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Flex and bring it forward. One. Reach back and lengthen. And then bring the hand, bring it back. And reach. We're going to go a little smoother now. Reach across, up, flex, and back. One more. And then we're going to drop that leg, push the hand up, and we're back into our starting position. Let's do the other side. So reach, 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 up, chest towards the front, and lift. One, two, three, let's do. Two more, and then we're going to find a little extra height and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. We're going to flex. One and reach. That's it. Two more. One. Press, drop that leg, and come up. Nice work, guys. Going to just stay in the kneeling position. We're going to bring one leg in front. You're going to tuck your tail under, bring your hips forward, lift up this arm, and then reach across. So you're feeling a little stretch through your hips there. We're going to come up, flex your foot, and reaching over. Try to keep your hips stable, pelvis is stable. And then you're going to flex your foot again and bring it down. Now from here, we're going to hold this position. So keep your knee and your foot where they are. We're going to rock back and forth, forward. So try to find that mobility in your hips. One more. Now we're going to flick that back to and lift the knee. And look up. Nice work, guys. Let's now drop the knee, come up, and then we're going to do the same on the other side. So swapping legs, bringing that one back, bring the other one forward. So start by tucking your tail under first, and you should already feel a little stretch here. See if you can keep going further. Lift the arm, and then we're going across to the other side. Feel the length all across the side of the body. Then we're going to come back. Hands on your hips. We're going to reach over that front leg. So length on the back, hamstrings. You're going to drop that foot back. And we're going to bring your hands. So remember, this one is a little hip mobility. So find that mobility in your hips and your back. Try to keep your back nice and long. So Try to not round too much if you can. Three more. One, two, three. Now we're going to pause here. You're going to flick your toe under and see if you can keep it off. You reach and look forward. Nice. One more breath. Drop it. Come back. We're going to come back, do one more stretch in our mermaid sitting position. So this one's a break for your hips again. One leg in front of the other. Find your hips and then we're going to reach up. Imagine you're painting the ceiling. When you come down, drop to your elbow and then you're going to reach under, up and up. One more. Paint the ceiling, deep breath in, drop to your elbow and reach across. We'll come up. And then we're going to swap sides. So swap into the other direction. And then we're going to do that all again. Inhale, reach. So drop to your elbow. And reach up. One. Feeling it all the way from your lower back 
and then cross your chest. One more. Drop to your elbow. Come up. Sitting up nice and tall, guys. We're going to bring your hands forward. We're going to come up into our nice standing position. Let's take a deep breath in. Reach up to the ceiling. And well done. Bring your hands together. Give yourselves a little clap, guys. Well done. I hope you enjoyed the class. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week.